guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Hello and welcome also if you're new around here and you haven't already, should I say if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because then you can be part of the Pug Eleven family over here. And today I thought I would just show you some of the Christmas presents that I bought and then also you can watch me wrap them at the same time. Or should I say, you can see how badly I wrap presents. But yeah, all the pugs are in here with me at the moment. You just saw Molly little flop there and there's little Gracie there. Mario's like right in the background, but you probably can hear him snoring. Rose is just like wandering all over the place. I'm quite happy that they're sleeping at the moment because honestly trying to wrap presents when they're around is a nightmare. But anyway, if you are any family or close friends that you know I buy Christmas presents for, such as like Mickey and Emily, you know, there's some of the people that I bought presents for that I'm going to show in this haul. Don't watch this video because I don't want you to see what you got for Christmas because, you know, it'll ruin your surprise. So, hello, Bracey. You right, darling? So, we're going to begin with my cousin and her family. So, I bought my cousin this, like, fro from Primark. And oh my goodness, look at it. I really wanted to keep this myself. But I was like, no, Harriet, you got, you got to spend your money on Christmas presents, not yourself. So yeah, I picked this up from Primark and it's just a really nice, oh, honestly, it feels so cozy. It's like a really nice cozy like blanket and it says ready to chill and it has like little popcorn all over it. And then this is like a special little pocket that you can put like your TV remote in or your popcorn or your like movie snacks. And then I also got her some of these um, face masks from H&M. So this is called Seven Days of Sheet Masks. And then each day there's like a little mask that you can use. And seeing as she's like a mum of two, two gorgeous boys, like sometimes she doesn't get time to pamper herself. But I thought these face masks would be quite nice because they're like sheet masks. So she can just place them on her face and then, you know, at the same time do a cleaning or whatever. So she can pump herself at the same time. I stuck a little sticker on there saying urgent and it said go pump yourself, you deserve it. So yeah. So for the boys, for my cousin's little boys, one of them is, he's just so cute. He absolutely loves books and dinosaurs. So I got him a selection of books from the shop called The Works. Like that shop is so good for getting books and stationery and crafts. So I got him a few books, I got him a rumpus in the night, I hope he hasn't got any of these because honestly he has so many books. Then I also got him this one which is Mess Monsters at Christmas. So they look like dinosaurs and it's like obviously Christmas inspired. Then I got him this one, this one looks so funny. It's the Really Gross Animals book and it's full of like fun like jokey facts about animals but obviously really gross ones. And then I got him this book which is called The King of Space. I then also picked him up this dinosaur like a fossil egg and what you do is you've got little tools in there that you chip away at the egg and then at the end like a little fossil comes out and I just thought that was quite nice. I wanted to get him some toys but he has so many toys and I just thought like books are a really nice gift to give like children. And then for his little brother Vinny who you've probably seen on some of my Instagram photos like he's so cute and adorable. I got him this cute little outfit from H&M. So it's in little shorts that says Mickey on the bottom, like Mickey Mouse. Then it comes with this cute, adorable little Mickey Mouse t-shirt. Like that is so cute. Like I would wear this if this was adult size. And then it comes with like a cute little bibble drib with like Mickey on the front. But um, I, Vinny's only like eight months old. So there's no point getting him like toys or anything like that, especially seeing as Ollie's got so many toys he can share like with Vinny. I just thought a little like, you know, clothing set would be quite nice. So that's um, my cousin and her boys out of the way. Moving on to the next person, we have Michelle. So Michelle is Mickey, my boyfriend's um, daughter-in-law. So she loves smelly things. So we picked up this candle from TK Maxx. And this is a peppermint and sugar candle. And look at the packaging. It has like flamingos and peppermint sweets all over it. I just thought the packaging looks really nice. And honestly, the candle has the same kind of print all over it, like little peppermint and like flamingos. And oh, it smells, it smells so good. It smells exactly like peppermint sweets. Like I think she's gonna really like this. Especially seeing as the vase, like the little pot it comes in. I can't even put it back in the box now. Oh, there we go. Especially seeing as like the little glass vase you can like use all year round. So it's not just like Christmas themed. 
so I thought that was nice. We then also went to Lush and got her a little like bath gift set. This is already wrapped, so I don't know if I should wrap it again. I might just wrap the candle and just not this just because this is already wrapped up but i think inside you get the golden pear soap and a bottle of dream cream body lotion and it smells amazing the little pear soap that you get in there honestly it's it's all gold and glittery honestly it smells gorgeous so yeah we got her then and then for her husband for mickey's son we got him some clothing from Aldi because he's, you probably think of clothing from Aldi. He's actually going like skiing soon and Aldi were doing some really good skiing clothes in there. So we grabbed him a load of ski clothing, which I haven't brought down with me because I'm not sure if I'm going to wrap it or not, just because it's like massive, like puffy clothing. And I don't know if it's just going to take me too long to wrap. I don't even know if I've got enough wrapping paper. I might need, if I'm going to wrap it in the end, I might need Mickey to help me wrap it, like hold it down why quickly sell the paper up but his son knows what we've got him for christmas anyway so it's not going to be like a surprise or anything and then in this massive bag we have the rest of the presents so for mickey's grandson we bought him some books he's called noah and um we usually give him like money for christmas to put in his like little you know little fund because he's only like two or three i can't remember now i'm really terrible with people's ages but um yeah so he's still like a little little baby so we just got him a couple of books from the shop called the works so we've got things like my bare friend hand hand as surprise and then we got him five minutes peace and then oh it's got stickers all over this one price stickers and then we got him duck in the truck and then also love from louisa just because we want to get him like a little something to unwrap for christmas and I know that Michelle absolutely loves books and stuff and reading to Noah. So we got him a few little books there. And then moving on, we have the Pugs Christmas present. So I just got him obviously just a selection of like dog toys. They're all asleep now, so they can't see what I've got them. But I've just got them a selection of dog toys each. They've got all something to unwrap. And then we can't miss them out with some little Christmas treats. So seeing as we're all going to be gobbling chocolate, I thought I'd better get them some chocolate. But I got them um, this Barking Mad Doggy Chocolate. Oh no, the, the word of chocolate has got Grace up now. She's seen it. Oh no, you're not allowed to look at these. These are your Christmas presents. Don't look. But this was 69p from the Ray, no, from B&M. And it's just, yeah, doggy peanut butter flavored chocolate. And I only give them like one to two squares of this like every like couple of days, just because you can't like give them too much because like that might upset their stomachs a bit. And she's sitting on the floor looking at me because they only get a treat if I say sit. Oh no, I shouldn't have said them two words because oh no, they're still fast asleep. Um, but um, yeah, they know that they have to sit down before they can get a little treat. That's why she's sitting there like that looking at me. You can't have that yet, darling. <laughs> That's for your Christmas present. No, no, no. And yeah, all these, pre all these toys, I think apart from this one here, this came from B&M and then the rest come from Poundland. I know they're not going to last long because Grace loves to like rip them open to get like the squeaky toy out of the middle. So yeah, I've got them a couple of dog treats. I'll get them something for Christmas to unwrap, seeing as by the end of Christmas, honestly, half the Christmas presents are nearly unwrapped by this one there. Honestly, Grace loves ripping open Christmas presents. So moving, oh my goodness, this is full of glitter in here. Why is it full of glitter? Why is the bag, I don't know why this bag's full of glitter. I honestly don't know how that could be covered in glitter. I've got nothing glittery. Okay, oi, oi, naughty. We also did get Mickey's two other sons, like Jake and Liam something. We just got them some like pants and some socks and stuff just because Mickey's already given like Liam a bit of money towards a new car. And then we're just waiting for Jake's present to arrive, which is a pair of trainers because he absolutely loves his trainers. So moving on, I think that's everyone's Christmas presents, I think. So I don't have to buy a lot of Christmas presents just because a lot of my other family don't celebrate Christmas. And then also, as you know, I'm related to family fears, like Georgie is my sister and Mira and Sienna and Karma 
are my nieces and Darren obviously is going to be my brother-in-law soon and um, they're in America at the moment and they don't know when they're going to be returning well I don't know when I'm going to be seen and when they return back to the UK so when we organize to meet up with them I'll probably buy them something closer to the time because then I can ask them you know what would they like so that's why I haven't bought anything yet for family fits just in case you're wondering like where's family fits Christmas presents okay so everything in hair I think is for Mickey Mickey, don't look, don't look. Okay, so we're actually going on holiday on the 27th of December. I'm like really, really excited. And oi, Mickey um, didn't really want anything for Christmas, but obviously we have to get something for like, you know, both of us. He did end up asking for a new phone, which I'll show you in a minute. So I bought him that, but I like to get him some things that he obviously doesn't know about that he can unwrap. So like I said, we're going on holiday at the end of Christmas. So I thought I'd buy him a few things for holiday. He absolutely loves like these like espadrille, espadrille. But he absolutely loves these shoes, especially like on holiday and stuff because they're easy to like slip on and off. I bought him a pair of these of um, ASOS. So I got him a nice like pink pair. And then I bought him these ones also from ASOS and these Sorry, Grace is like bashing my tripod. These ones are like suede, so I thought these would be nice for like the evening. So yeah, I got Mickey some of them. I also got him from H&M some of these like stretchy kind of like shorts. These are from like the sportswear section, and um, but these just feel really nice and they'll be really nice and comfortable and cooling on the skin. So he can wear these on holiday, or he likes to wear these around the house like in the evening and. Then I also got him just like a black pair, just because, get him a couple of pairs, like this blue and this black pair, so I think, you know, they're just like really nice like, colours and stuff. Then I also got swimming trunk shorts, whatever you want to call them, for holiday. These come from ASOS too, so I got him this really nice kind of like bluey, greeny colour, I just think that's really nice and... Um, I think that colour really suits him. Then obviously I had to get him like a nice bright pair. So I got him these like fuchsia pink ones. But they're not like too like girly fied if that makes sense. They're like a really nice like pinky like purpley colour. So yeah I got him them for holiday. I think he's going to be really happy about them because they just look so much nicer compared to the other ones he's got. Then I got him this t-shirt which i've kept wrapped up in the packaging just because it's white and i don't want it to get all dirty so he's got loads and loads of t-shirts and he usually just buys his t-shirts from primark but i thought this one was nice to wear in the evening like when we're going for a couple of drinks a couple of cocktails on holiday and it's just a plain like white tee and it's a levi tee this come from asos and I just thought this was nice because it's like, if he doesn't want to like wear a shirt in the evening, he could wear this, but it's like a little bit more dressy. Well, I guess it's, I just thought, you know, it's a little bit dressy just because it's white and I feel like white can look quite dressy and it's Levi. So yeah, I hope he can get away with wearing that in the evening. But um, yeah, I got him that. And then I also obviously got him his phone. So he... He doesn't like, you know, fancy phones. Like, my phone's quite fancy. It's like the Huawei, or whatever you call it, Hawaii, I don't know, um, P Pro 20, like the new one. And um, I just love it. Like, the battery lasts on there for, like, days and days without me having to charge it. And he always just buys, like, the Motorola-like phones, like the cheap ones. So... He asked for a new one of them because I think they only really last like a couple of years and then they get really slow. Um, but because he's always like dropping his phone and stuff, he didn't want to buy like an expensive one because it would just get smashed, smashed to pieces. So I thought I would upgrade him a little bit and I got him the Hawaii or whatever it is, P Smart. So this isn't like what, this is kind of like in their cheaper range. But this was, I think it was like £150. It's still quite expensive. But um, yeah, this, oh, oh my goodness, I've smashed this phone already. I've smashed this phone before he even has got the chance to. But yeah, I just got him this one just because I thought, you know, this might, um, hopefully the battery life on this one will last longer than his Motorola phones that he gets. And it's something a bit different, like he's always had the Motorola ones, so he'll have fun like playing with this. So yeah, I got him that, he knows I've got him that phone and he knows I've got him like the Hawaii or Hawaii or I don't know what it's called. 
and um, I then obviously got him a new phone case so this just comes off eBay and it's just like a, a wallet phone case this was about £10 which is a bit more expensive than I think the ones he usually buys I think he usually buys like the £2 like ones that he can pick up off eBay but I thought I'd get him something a bit more nicer and I think it's like fox leather or fox leather phone leather and it's just like a really nice blue one and yeah I just think this is going to be like quite nice like on his phone like he's going to really love that then I got him these are the last couple of bits that I got him and these are just loads of like goodies for his stocking um that I got him you've pretty much seen everything in here I showed you the other day in like my stocking filler ideas so I just got him a load of like chocolate. I got him a Terry's chocolate orange because he absolutely loves these. And then I got him some orange Smarties because he loves orange Smarties. And I got him some like, you know, workman pencils because he's a carpenter, so he's always using these. These just come from Poundland. I think everything, all these actually did come from Poundland. And I got him like a little wooden phone holder. And then I got him some like orange dark chocolate some gin like boiled sweets all they all of them come from Poundland apart from this chocolate this come from Aldi he saw it and then he was like oh that looks nice so I quickly stuck that in the trolley and then I got him some salted caramel flavour hot chocolate which comes from Aldi and this was like $2.99 so just some nice little stocking fillers for him like most of his stocking fillers as you can see that I get him every year are always edible just because he does love to hit, like his chocolate and stuff so I thought that would be quite nice to get him them things um, so yeah that's all the Christmas presents that I bought obviously I bought like Mickey's sons some gifts and stuff but some of them hadn't arrived and I just thought, you know, you probably want to, won't want to see like box and shorts and socks and stuff. But they're all my Christmas presents anyway. Grace is trying to eat Daddy's chocolate, which you're not allowed because it's not fret doggy friendly. But yeah, that's all my Christmas presents. Now it's time to wrap them up. Christmas presents wrapped up and under the tree. Um, I did run out of wrap and paper for a couple of few of the presents, so I'm gonna have to wrap them later on this month when I manage to get some more Christmas paper. I thought I had enough, but last year I had way too many spare rolls of Christmas wrapping paper left, and I don't know what happened to them. I think I just ended up recycling it. But this year I just don't have enough, which is really annoying. Do you find guys that you always run out of wrapping paper? Like comment down below if you run out of wrapping paper when you're wrapping your presents. But yeah, anyway, I hope you did enjoy this little video, just seeing some of the Christmas presents that I bought for my friends and family. And yeah, I um, will see you guys in tomorrow's video. I love you all. Bye.